What causes fetal movements in the pelvic area during pregnancy? Hello and welcome. Today, we're going to talk about an amazing aspect of pregnancy, fetal movements, especially those you might feel in the pelvic area. It's a delightful sign of the little life growing inside you. Let's dive in and explore why this happens, what it means, and when you should be concerned. Remember, each pregnancy is unique, and there's a wide range of normal when it comes to fetal movements. What are fetal movements? Fetal movements often start to be felt between 18 and 25 weeks of pregnancy. These movements can include everything from a slight flutter, kicks, to rolls, jabs, and twists. These are all signs of your baby growing and exploring their surroundings. What causes fetal movements in the pelvic area? Fetal movements in the pelvic area are caused by the baby moving, stretching, and turning inside the uterus. As the baby grows and takes up more space, these movements might become more pronounced. Some women might feel these movements as a bit of pressure or mild discomfort in the pelvic area. It's your baby's way of saying hello and reassuring you that they are active and well. Why do fetal movements matter? Fetal movements are a sign of the baby's well-being. It's important to be aware of your baby's usual pattern of movements. Changes in the pattern of movements, like sudden increase or decrease, should be reported to your healthcare provider, as it could be a sign that the baby is in distress. When should you be concerned? While fetal movements are usually a sign of a healthy pregnancy, there are times when they could indicate a problem. If you notice a significant decrease or increase in your baby's movements, or if the movements have stopped altogether, contact your healthcare provider immediately. It's better to be safe and get everything checked out. In conclusion, fetal movements, especially those felt in the pelvic area, are a normal part of pregnancy. They are a sign of your baby's growth and activity. However, if you notice any significant changes in these movements, it's crucial to reach out to your healthcare provider. We hope this video has helped you better understand what's going on when you feel that little one wiggling, kicking, or rolling around. Thank you for watching.